Hey guys, as we stay, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So the Warcraft 15 year anniversary is on the way and part of that is this Korok Revenge old Alterac Valley style PvP event that you can join in. And you may have noticed that if you do this quest to get 200 Tarmok badges whilst in the battleground, you get a new mount. And you get one for Horde and one for Alliance, so you don't need to do this twice on each faction. Once you've done it once, you get it for both factions, you get both mounts. So that's that done. I've got some little tips to help you do this. It is going to take some time. You're not going to be able to do this in one battleground, so be ready to do this multiple times. It's going to take a while. But the good news is that you do have a long time to do this. You've got a couple of months. For those of you guys in the United States, you've got till the 7th. And for everyone in the EU, you've got till the 8th. And it's the 9th for Asia. So you mainly do this by completing quests in your base. So you'll be able to check your progress in the Honor interface. And that's also where you queue up if you see at the bottom there. You don't actually get a quest in your quest log for this. It's just tracked on the Honor interface. So completing objectives and winning the game. Didn't initially, but it does now. Winning the game gives you 5% completion when you win. Uh, when you lose, I don't believe you get any percent completion. So what you want to do is when you get in there, focus on doing the quests because they're the most guaranteed sources of completion towards this event. There is a quest to kill Korok himself. Now Korok is basically a boss. You need to get the quest from this from Chromi or if you ask when you join the battleground, somebody might be able to share it with you. Um, for Korok, he spawns at the Snowfall Graveyard about two minutes into the game. I did hear some people saying he spawned when someone caps the graveyard for the first time, but Blizzard have said today that it starts at two minutes into the game, which gives both sides plenty of time to get there and try and cap the graveyard and also try and get Korok. Now he will be, you can tag him and he will be tagged to the faction that tags him first, but if you pull him away, or obviously if you kill all the Horde or the Alliance vice versa, and then take aggro on him, you should get the tag back to your, ta your side. The way that we did this, we got quite lucky actually, a clever little hunter in our group. I think he was using distracting shot to get aggro on Korok and pull him basically right into our base where our little mini boss is, as you can see in this video here. And um, we pulled him all the way away. He was initially tagged to the horde, I was playing Alliance at the time. And we ended up getting the tag back to the Alliance side and we took him way away from all the action because they were still trying to cap the graveyard. Most people didn't realise we'd pulled him away because a lot of people are still a bit unsure on how to do this. So we pulled him away, we killed him, some horde did pursue but we just killed them as well and we ended up getting the quest completed which is obviously really good. Now this again it could be quite frustrating because sometimes when you join this event usually what happens is you end up in the middle of the match where this has already happened so if you really just want to get Korok you might want to just leave the match and come back in and try and get a fresh one. If you do get a fresh one just make sure that you're with the rush that goes to the Snowfall Graveyard first and just do your best to try and get Korok down. It's going to be a fight every single time because everyone's trying to get this done. But again, don't get too stressed out with it. You've got loads of time to do this and I know people don't want to spend forever in AV, but you'll get it at some point. Just keep going for it and try your best each time. As a side note as well for this, the Horde, because there seems to be a lot more Horde players recently, the Horde have longer queues. For me, it was an average of between 18 and 25 minute queues, but when I was on my Alliance characters, it was two minute queues. So if you've got both Horde and Alliance characters and you play your Alliance ones too, even if it's just an ult, you might want to do it on that character because you'll have a lot less time, you know, wasted in the queue. So generally once you're in the game to try and get completion of this event done again it's going to take a bit of time what you want to do is go for the reliable sources of event completion percentage so those are the quests so some of them don't give time warp badges what you want to do is just when you get the quest in your log go around your base or asking in the raid for someone to share them with you people generally do once you've got the quests uh, they're scattered around everywhere just see which ones give you time warp badges and focus on them and don't generally focus on the other ones unless you do them passively through doing the other objectives. So you want to turn them in. There's things like um, the one that you want to focus on first is, is the wolves or the ram turnings. Now what you'll have to do is initially when you get the quest you'll have to go and kill a wolf or a ram, whichever is on the opposite faction to you, to get the thing to make a harness. And then once you've got the harness back at the quest vendor, go and tame a wolf or a ram bring that back and turn it in and that'll give you some time warp badges. It is limited, so people always focus this first. I think, for example, the number might be 12, it might be higher than that. But once 12 wolves or rams on either side have been turned in, your faction will get like a stampede thing um, going through the battleground to help your side. But then after that's happened, you can't turn any more in. You won't get any completion for, for doing this. 
So the most reliable one, but the slowest one, is the mines. Now you'll get, there's, there's two mines in the battleground, both at the top and bottom of the map. One for the Horde, one for the Alliance side. And you'll get a quest one to capture a mine, which can be done by killing the, the named mob that's inside on the little wooden platform. It's, the mines have both the same layout really for them. Um, so you kill the named mob when it's controlled by either the kobolds at the beginning of the game or the Horde or the Alliance if someone's already captured it. Now you kill that mob, but once you've captured it, then you'll get a completion for that quest once you go and hand it in. And that's a good one to do, it gives you a few percent from what I remember. And you also get the supplies quests. So these you just need to gather 10 supplies which are dotted around the mine. These respawn quite frequently, but they might be quite highly contested by obviously both factions, if there's both factions in that mine currently. So this can be a bit frustrating. It only gives you 1% event completion. So if you do this, you know, two or three times a game, uh, then that's going to at least be steady progress made each time. I definitely would recommend just focusing on your side. Mind the one that's near your base because obviously running all the way up to the top just to get 10 supplies and then run all the way back down, it's going to be dangerous. You're probably going to get killed along the way. You're probably going to end up just wasting time. So focus on the one that's on your side. Another little tip is that the quests like carry over between games. So if, if for example, you capture a mine or capture a graveyard and complete that quest or a bunker, things like that, if, when you go back to hand that quest in, the quest mob isn't there, which sometimes happens because they've been killed or they've disappeared for whatever reason, don't worry, don't abandon the quest because you don't have to do it again when you next come into the game. I'm not sure if this is intended or not, and it's probably always worked this way, so it probably is intended, but if you leave that game once it's finished or if you leave early, keep the quest in your log. When you next come into the game, if in a fresh match, the mob will be there, you will be able to hand that quest in. I just don't think you'll be able to get it again that particular game. There is another quest that's well worth doing too, which is to get 500 honor while you're in the battleground. So you can usually do this in one game because the games are normally long enough and it usually comes mostly from just obviously killing people. So this comes from Chromie. So once you go to the Caverns of Time to see you to pick up the initial quest, she'll give you this one as well. And it's just a nice little bonus. So in summary guys, this is gonna take you some time to complete. It's worth it though, you get two mounts. If you really, really hate PvP, then just try and focus on the PvE objectives when you're in there just doing the quests. Obviously, you'll come across enemies, but it's not that painful really. It's also very, very good for leveling. I'm going to do you a video just showing how fast it is for leveling. So if you want to do this on an alt, you can level it up. You can queue this from as early as level 10 all the way up to level 120. You will get scaled to 60, but obviously you'll just have less abilities. Um, but yeah, it's very good, so you can do this. I, I did it on my ult, on my uh, Paladin, and I think I got to about 30% completion of the event just from leveling from 116 to 120, so, you know, it's, if I'd have kept on going, if I was a lower level, I could have done it. I'm going to try it on a level 110 to 120 and see what happens there, see if I can complete the event all in that level in space. But there we go, guys. Any more questions, just ask me down in the comments, and I think I or somebody else will be able to help you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Good luck with the event. And I'll catch you next time. I've been Lazy Beast. Cheers.